sneaking in its bag. Tonight we're looking at Peppermint 1 OS, or Peppermint, whatever you want to call it, based on Ubuntu, Linux Mint, Ubuntu, and a smattering of XFCE in there as well. We're going to take a quick look around and show what it's all about. Got my desktop, updates, Ethernet, sound, but we're going to go to the update section and just show you the sort of repositories they're using. So we'll go to edit here, software sources, and other software. By the way, it's a full install, new machine, lovely, no virtual box for me. So you can see it uses their own peppermint stuff. There's two there. So that's source and main, Lubuntu, source and main, and then it's been nine is Adora, source and main, and some get dev stuff. So that's quite a lot of bits and bobs in there, really, when you think about it. So that's that bit out of the way. Nice clean interface, as you can see. We'll click on the menu and go from there. Accessories. I've got File Manager, g but we have the files. Just show you what we've got here. Basic, basic, basic. It looks really Lubuntu like this part of it. But it works. I'm using a 40 gig partition just for this. So, yeah. Superb. I like it anyway. Looks nice. So, back to the menu for us. Uh, back to accessories, we'll go who? I've got image viewer, terminal, leaf pad, for leaf pad stuff, screenshot and archiver, simple scan for scanning, internet, you've got the Dropbox, so Facebook, Firefox web browser, Prism. Now Prism you can do direct links for like Facebook or whatever application you want. So just chuck in the URL there, name it there, apply it and it'll make something for you. So there, la 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 la. So I'll go back up there. <coughs> See so the Facebook application there is via Prism, and you've got Seismic Web is another one. Now, this is a cloud based Twitter client. Now, I'm not too sure about this because you might as well just have Twitter, might you, really? There are lots of other Twitter clients, but hey, it seems okay. Some people like it, some people don't. I'm not too hot on it personally myself. I don't know about you, but give it a go, try it out, you never know. It's for Windows as well as Linux, so that's good if you use Windows, which I don't. Ha 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 ha. Menu again. So, back up some internet. There you go. Transmission. Next chat. People in neighbourhood. Office. All cloud applications. All Google, Google stuff, should I say. I prefer Zoho myself if I'm going to use cloud stuff, which I don't very often. I like it on the machine, basically. Sound and Vision. Asunder. Cheese. Excel for your music player. Known for your known music players. Hulu. Now, Hulu, this is only available in the States again. I can't actually use it here in the UK. But basically, it's online watching of TV and films and stuff, but only for the US, I'm afraid to say. So next in the menu, sound and video. Got Last FM, I like that. Pandora again. Pandora Online Internet Radio. Trouble is, it's only for the United States again. They don't use it outside the US. And they see you use a proxy server, but why bother? There are other services available. So that's gone. Not too good there so far, is it, when you think about it? Not if you're not in the US. Sound mixer. Cloud music player. Right, and database. Now I'm a bit mixed on this one. Because there wasn't really anything I wanted to listen to. Although it's reasonably good. You can't really complain about it. It takes a little while to load though. But after you do wait, here we go. Hot tracks. Yeah. I'm not really interested in most of that personally myself. Although some of you may be. But it's there for you to use if you want to. Back to menu again. Lots in the menu. Did you see? Excuse me. X burn for burning. Direct YouTube. That's a prism. Again. So they've made that a prism. It just goes directly to YouTube. Works all right. Nice clear screen. It's got a wide screen that I have. Nice. Super. Back to the menu. God, I could have a shortcut for that, can I? We'll go to GTK for wide desktop. I'm using now, so you can see this. XFC Task Manager. So, bits of everything in it, really, isn't it, when you think about it? And on this, you can change an awful lot about your desktop if you really want to. But would you want to? Mind you, it's only a 500 meg download, it's not too big. Bear in mind, it's based on 1004 mainly, or Linux Mint 9 is Adora, one or the other. I'll just check if there's any drivers available for this machine, but there won't be because this is an Intel chipset driver set. So, there won't be nothing there for me, will there? Back to menu again, preferences again. Where else should we go? No, we'll just go, we'll go direct to Firefox, I think. Let's go and check the Fox out. Make sure it all works hunky dory. So, this is the first screen you get, which is the Mozilla screen, of course. There we go, we're chucking the booker. 
nice heavy page to look at. Now the BBC page has been redesigned as well. And it's not working too good tonight. So what you'll see, I'll get bored and we go to a different page. Because I've got to fill up with it waiting for it to load. But after waiting a couple of hours, it all got OK again and started to work. So yeah, I and mean, I waited and waited for the iPlayer. But I was going to waste my time waiting any longer. So we go straight to Distro Watch. Nice and quick. Quite a few there tonight, isn't it? Should I try this? I've got a couple of them on disc, actually. Might do them another time. But yeah, works all nice and hunky. So that's super duper 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 duper. Peppermint one there is if you want to download it, there is a link for it on Distro Watch or go back main to their site if you really want to. Now, on the whole, Peppermint runs quite nice. But I think I'll just stick with Ubuntu, really, at the end of the day. But it's there. If you want to give it a try, give it a try. You might like it, you may not. But there's only one way to find out. Sneaky Linux at I'll see you later.